This is sort of old news, but if you haven't already heard, earlier this week, Google unveiled the new Pixel and Pixel XL smartphones, both of which pack Snapdragon 821 chips, 4 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM, and AMOLED displays. It is also confirmed that HTC is Google's manufacturing partner for these new devices. Intel 7th generation KB Lake processors are beginning to appear in laptops and other smaller or mobile PCs. Slight gains in performance and power efficiency have been noted, as well as improved higher clock speeds in a new video engine which allows CPU cores within 7th gen processors to idle, preserving substantial amounts of battery life while playing HEVC or H.265 4K video with a 10-bit color format. It never seems to end for poor Samsung. A replacement Note 7 caught fire on Southwest Airlines Flight 994 when Brian Greene, the owner of this now infamous phone, was told to power down his device, it began burning and emitting smoke. Samsung is yet to get a hold of this Note 7 in order for them to find out if their replacements are not defective and safe for the public. Motorola has just announced that Android Nougat will be available on 15 of their most recent devices, such as the Moto X Pure Edition, Nexus 6, Moto G4 series, Moto Z series, and the Joy 2 and Droid Max 2 by quarter 4 of 2016. AMD's next-gen Vega 10 GPUs will most likely debut before the end of this year. It is rumored that the future Fury X successor, featuring HBM2 video memory, will outperform Nvidia's current Titan XP. Stay tuned every Saturday for more weekly tech news in 99 seconds.